This exercise will give you a little practice with Sketcher, but at the same time you'll be learning to pan, tilt, and zoom all around your model. The first thing you're going to do is copy uh, your the starter part into your own directory and rename it with FML. Now you don't need to do the other uh, parts of the naming and saving procedures because we actually want to see your sketches for this particular uh, exercise. And so let's jump right into Katia and take a look at how this might be done. So let's take a uh, let's take a look here and oops, there we go. Take our little folder here. Here's our quiz. The first thing we would do is rename this dash fml, and that would be in your quizzes directory. And then we're going to drag and drop it into Katia. Okay, then. What we have here as the orange is an example of what we would like you to do. There's a little sketch that we put on top of this rectangle. So we're going to come up here to this blue rectangle. We're going to tech, select the top and go to Sketcher. Pull it down here. and Let's just draw. Pull out our commands here that we're going to be using. Okay, let's draw a rectangle on there. Always drawing on the dark blue surface. Okay, that one's done. Okay. Now this one actually has the dark blue surface on the other side. So we're going to come over here. Again, a little practice zooming and panning. Always make these as big as you can. Makes it easier to work with. And this one is the orientated rectangle. So there we go. That one's done. Let's get out a sketcher. A new sketch for each one of these. We'll zoom back out again. Up. Oh, we need to rotate around. Because here's our second one right here. This is a parallelogram. We'll zoom in a little bit. And then we will go to Sketcher and we'll sketch on the top of that one. And we'll select the parallelogram. So learning to use the parallelogram, but at the same time, learning to pan, tilt, and zoom in and out. See, some of these shapes are very large, and some of them are very small. So you have to zoom way in to really get a good idea for how to do this one. And then, you know, you would choose your polygon tool, and here, here, and then you just do a little bit of practice, okay? And if you're wrong, see, I drew it this way first. Now I'm going to orientate it a little bit differently. So I'll just control Z to back out of it and just do it again, except this time maybe drawing it here this way. And then when I, oh, perfect, now it's looking really good. So you're learning to adapt through all of these different icons. And what I'd like you to do then is draw each shape on its dark blue surface. And again, some of them are on the other side. So that at the very end, you should have, these are all the features that I used to make these solids. But now your sketches are all going to be at the bottom here. And then when you're done, you do not need to color this or hide the sketches because I actually want to see them.